Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirani here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. I recently noticed that my freezers are almost overflowing, so it's time to take inventory of what we have so I can plan a few meals to use some of it up. I started in the basement where we have a chest freezer and then I moved up to the kitchen freezer. In the basement, we have a ton of berries that I froze earlier this summer when berries were in season. We have several bags of dried apples that Andrew recently made, some apricots from last year. We have some dried peppers as well as some smoked peppers. There are tons of seafood in here that much more than I even realized. We have cod, salmon, you see a couple of ahi tuna steaks in here a bag of shrimp, and several smoked salmon fillets that Angie made earlier this year. We also have a handful of soy sausages, we have some hush puppies, a ton of tomatoes, and frozen cheese. If you shop at places like Costco, you can buy the big chunks of cheese and then bring them home, cut them into more realistic sized pieces, wrap them up and freeze them, and then you'll always have cheese on hand. And we even have some puff pastry. That's a lot of food. And then there's the kitchen freezer. I'm always amazed by how much I can fit in here. A couple months ago, I did move a few things from the basement up to the kitchen, hoping that I would use them up, but I haven't because <laughs> I forgot what I moved up. I have a couple of containers of applesauce that I made last year. We have cherries, we have dried cherries. Another bag of cranberries. I have tomato sauce from last winter, some corn and zucchini that were both from last year. A little bit of seafood. It looks like I have some ahi tuna that we cooked up and froze so that we just have to thaw it and throw it on a salad. And we also have a few shrimp to use up and more hush puppies and some homemade veggie bouillon. So while well, yesterday I did the inventory, today I'm trying to come up with how I want to use some of that. I would like to use definitely some of the older stuff, the stuff that I know is from last year, and some of the newer stuff too, it doesn't really matter. I just want to pare it down a little bit so that I can actually see what's in the freezer and things don't get lost and forgotten about. And it also will save me a little money on groceries for the next couple of weeks. So while I did the inventory, I just sort of did a quick like, scratching of what was in each freezer, but this is kind of hard to look at and do anything with. So I did actually take probably 10 or 15 minutes to type it up and then print it just so I can look at it a little more organized like and think of what I want to use. So I went through and I sort of highlighted a few things that I know I want to use up. So I, I know I would like to use up some of the um, sausages that we have, applesauce, uh, some of the zucchini and corn that I know are from last year. I even have some tomatoes in there from last year. I want to use those up. The hush puppies we've had for a while and they're not packaged the best. It's just whatever packaging was from the store. We didn't repackage them. So I want to use some of those up before they start getting freezer burned. So I'm looking at my list and I'm going to start thinking of a few meal ideas that I can make. I'm not using like the whole meal won't come from my freezer, but if at least a few items get used, it'll help me clear up and make some space. So first of all, I'm just going to go sort of like what comes to mind. And then I might write a couple of these down. So as I'm looking through my list, I know I saw cod, so I could do cod with something some sort of side dish. So I know I also have zucchini in here that was like shredded zucchini from last year that I want to use up. So I think I'm going to make a like zucchini risotto with cod and then some other veggie for the side to make it a little more veggie forward. So I'll write that down. Cod, zucchini risotto, 
veggie. So right there is a nice dinner. There was a bunch of dried fruit in there. I know we had dried apples, dried apricots, dried cherries. So those I could use in a granola. So I can mix up a big batch of granola. Let's see. I also have, well, again, all the tomatoes. There's some smoked peppers in here. Corn. I could make like a I like to make a very, very veggie chili. So when I make chili, it usually has butternut squash, onions, carrots in it, um, but it could use up a lot of the tomatoes. I could throw the corn in there with some black beans. That would be yummy. And I could serve it with a side of hush puppies. So that will do well. Chili. I'm gonna say with corn, because I don't normally put corn in my chili, but I will this time and hush puppies. And I'm doing this by my computer because I figured I might want to actually search for a couple things. Like for one, I have applesauce. I made this applesauce last year and it's good, but we're just not big applesauce eaters. Like I never really just have a serving of applesauce. I might have to, <laughs> to work through this because it's two fairly decent sized bags. But I thought a great place to start would be to search for recipes that use applesauce as an ingredient and see what we can find. So I just typed in recipe using applesauce. <laughs> and we get applesauce cake, several of those. Lots of applesauce cake. Um, yes applesauce donuts. I don't really want to make donuts. Here is one 20 recipes that use up that jar of applesauce. That sounds good, even though it's not a jar. We have applesauce, muffins, donuts, cake with hot rum sauce. That's interesting. Ooh, an apple cider donut cake. That could be good. Um, Nutty banana sheet cake. Because I do know there's a lot of recipes that use, like you can make them less caloric by substituting applesauce for oil, like if you're making brownies or cake or things like that. Oh, apple cinnamon toaster strudel. So that actually might be something I could try using the applesauce and some of the puff pastry. I'm going to make a note of that. I don't want all of my stuff to be sweet, but a couple. Apple cinnamon strudel. Hmm. That does look good. Oh, homemade Pop-Tarts. No. Baked apple oat breakfast squares. Maybe. Strawberry cheesecake breakfast bar. Hmm. I don't know, but it sounds yummy. Ooh, apple zucchini muffins. All right, picture it looks really good because it has like a crumble top to it. Uh, but it uses grated zucchini and applesauce, which are two things in my freezer. So that one's, I think that's a definite yes. Apple zucchini muffins. So I can print out that recipe, give it a try. I think that's probably good for applesauce. Ooh, cakey Odi, Odi, is that really a word? Cakey Odi energy bars packed with fruit and seeds. It actually looks like it could be pretty yummy. I can't tell. I see what looks like lots of seeds and dried fruit. Oh, there might be coconut in there. I don't know. But I need to take a closer look at that just to see what it is because it looks yummy. So it uses coconut oil, peanut butter, brown rice syrup, flax, applesauce, vanilla, rolled oats, and then raisins, dried apricots, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. 
interestingly, I could possibly make this and instead of raisins, maybe do dried cherries and then I do have dried apricots. I have pumpkin seeds. I have sunflower seeds. I think I have almost everything I need except for brown rice syrup and ground flaxseed, which there's got to be something I can substitute for those. Huh, I'm going to take note of it. Maybe I'll make them. Maybe I won't. Cakey Odie. Odie. It just sounds weird. Energy bars. We'll go with that. Now, just back looking at my list, some of the ahi tuna. This is the tuna that Andrew marinated, seared lightly on all the edges so that it's still nice and pink inside and very like, raw inside. And then he sliced it up, vacuum sealed it, threw it in the freezer just to see how that would work if we wanted to try having that on hand to pull it out, thaw it, and put it on a salad just to see if it messes up the texture too much or if it's still going to be okay. So I think this would be a perfect time to thaw that out and try some of that. So even just some sort of salad with ahi. So it's really we'll use pretty much just the ahi. It's not going to be a multiple ingredient thing, but that's okay. Um, trying to think. That I have lots of veggie bouillon, which I made myself. And maybe what I'll do, maybe that'll be a video in the future of showing how easy it is to make veggie bouillon. I'm going to make a soup, maybe using up some of the bouillon. And in that soup, I might be able to use maybe the, some of my tomatoes. I could use like maybe one of the sausages, put like some Italian sausage in there. Ah, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that could use up maybe the rest of my corn, even if some of my zucchini, put all kinds of veggies that I have with the veggie bouillon some soy stuff. We could have hush puppies on the side. I could even put, uh, I was gonna say I could put shrimp in the soup, but I don't really care for shrimp in soup. So scrap that idea. But yeah, just soup. Well, it took me probably a good 15, maybe 20 minutes to go through both of my freezers, write down everything that was in there. Plus, and maybe another 10 minutes or so to type up my list so that I could look at it with things in categories. Like I have fruit, peppers, seafood, sausages, cheese, miscellaneous, um, veggies. I put it in the categories so I know what I have. And then this was what? I could probably look. 13 minutes so far I've been filming that it took me to put together a list of of not necessarily meals. I have a couple meals and then several dishes. So I have salad, salad, <laughs> give me a salad. A salad with ahi tuna on top is one. A uh, vegetable soup using the remnants of the vegetables that I have in there, plus probably some fresh vegetables. Cod with zucchini risotto and a veggie, so that's another meal. Chili with corn and hush puppies on the side. So that is for like real real meals, not eating like strange combinations of things, real meals. Plus I'm going to make granola and then maybe do one or two of these sweet applesauce things, whether it's the apple zucchini muffins, which I'm really leaning towards that, but those apple cinnamon strudels, like toaster strudels looked really good because I love puff pastry and I do want to use up some of my puff pastry and the cakey Odi energy bars. Those sounded good too. And that just made me think when I said puff pastry, I do have cherries in here as well. And one of the things I do love to make is uh, cherry turnovers, which couldn't be more simple. You take the cherries, add a little flour to them so they have a little thickener. Take some puff pastry, cut them into big squares, not big squares, but squares. Put a dollop in there, fold them into little triangles, seal the edges and bake them. Adding that to the list. Cherry turnovers. So really, with just a small bit of shopping, I can eat pretty well for the next couple of weeks. So thank you for joining me. If you have a freezer full of stuff, I encourage you to also take inventory, plan a couple meals using what's in your freezer, or if you don't have a big freezer, maybe look at your pantry and see what you can use up in your pantry to have a low grocery bill 
and also to use up what you have before it expires or goes bad. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great day.